Have you heard about this latest rage from Thailand? Find out now. <laughs> One of my really good friends, Frank, who lives in Bangkok, Thailand, sent me a message. He was like, hey man, have you heard about this Orangina Espresso? I was like, Orangina Espresso? What are you talking about? Evidently, this is the big rage in Thailand and maybe it's spreading across the world. People are taking Orangina, this thing, this Sp originally Spanish origin orange soda drink, and they're mixing it with espresso. That sounds crazy. So I thought, let's give it a try. So Orangina originally de developed in Spain. Now, since it's gone through several iterations and back then it was called Narangina. But anyway, so we've got some, let's make the drink. I'm gonna take this cup. This is a nine ounce glass cup. So is it Orangina or Orangina? I don't really know. I'm gonna take some ice. Then now the orangina. Let's pour it to about there. All right, here it is. So we took the orangina, poured the espresso directly on top, pulled it on top, but unlike the videos that I've seen or unlike the photos that I've seen on the internet, we don't get that layering. It's kind of like gotten all in together. So it's not as attractive, but at the end of the day, it's about the flavor. So let's have a taste. Not bad. Not bad. Refreshing, light. You get the espresso. You get the orange. Or the citrus. It's more citrus than orange. I guess. It's light. It's refreshing. Actually, I can kind of see why people really get into it. You know, here in the United States, a really popular thing is creamsicle. So what would this be like as a creamsicle? Let's find out. That was probably too much. You know, not bad either. It, it kind of has a little bit of that creamsicleness because of the milk. Still light, still refreshing. The milk doesn't weigh it down too much. I'm actually surprised. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm enjoying it in either way, whether it has the milk or without the milk. Although I think I would prefer the, the nut milk, because now the milk, of course, will weigh, up, weigh on you a little bit more. It weighs heavier on the palate. What's there to say about the Orangina, Orangina, Orangina Espresso? Not bad. Pretty good. Light, refreshing, got some coffee, got some citrusiness to it. I think it's rather enjoyable, just the two ingredients by themselves. Which also makes me wonder, what does the orangina taste like by itself? It's bright, it's crisp, it's citrusy, not terribly orangey. It's sparkling, but it's not a heavy sparkling like, you know, you drink Sprite or Coca-Cola. It's got a really like assertive carbonation. This is a very light effervescence of carbonation. Quite enjoyable. If you try this, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Love to hear from you if you have any ideas for upcoming shows that you would like to see. Let me know that too. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great one.